Ah, shit. Now, as you can clearly tell, my actual face does not match my avatar face. At all. But you know what? That's okay. I found out my phone could do 4K 60fps footage, and I decided, you know what? I might as well use that for a video, just to try something out. Anyways, it's been a year since the Grinch leak happened, which is crazy to think that that much time has flown by. In the years since the Grinch leak, we've gotten Joker, Hero, Banjo, Terry Bogard, Piranha Plant. I know there are a bunch of people on Twitter celebrating, but they were celebrated prematurely, damn it, by about mm, two weeks or so. So as the guy who, you know, created the foremost documentary about the Grinch leak and covering sort of the whole online drama on it, you know, do I have any sort of new info about the Grinch leak at all? No. Nobody's admitted to it and they likely never will. And I personally don't know anybody in private who says they have, so... So, we don't know who did it. We still don't know well how it was done. In fact, we don't even knew, know anything new aside from the initial image. Aside from the fact that it's fake. Because the actual game came out. I actually think the Grinch League's influence on Smash Brothers community as a whole is insane. Nobody really seems to believe any sort of info that people come out with at all anymore. I mean, I follow Papa Gino's on YouTube and like he re reports on stuff pretty regularly, but it doesn't seem like the community outside of his YouTube channel really is sort of getting attached to any of these ideas specifically. You know, unless it's that Tracer 4chan post. You know, you can look at Smash speculation from two angles. Either, you know, it's a completely alive and well because we don't have to worry about those pesky fake leaks anymore, anybody believing them or it's completely dead and a nightmare free-for-all. Pretty much at this point, any character is really open to getting into Smash Brothers. There, there's so many possibilities, and it's so hard to narrow down with so how off the walls Nintendo is with its choices. It's kind of hard to really, you know, speculate at this point. At least to me, I find it more interesting to talk about the way a character would play in Smash Brothers and sort of what stuff they would come with rather than the actual character being next. But it's gonna be Ryu Hayabusa for DLC number five. Yeah, this was an interesting video, so if you thought it was interesting and you want more, you know, comment and like and all that YouTube stuff. I'm sorry my monitors are flickering in the camera. I think I thought it would be more awkward if I had them just turned off and not with anything on them than to have them on but be more visually flickery. My my monitors are old 2012 1200p monitors and for some reason that you can see the refreshes on my phone camera. Anyways, thanks for watching.